right, guys, this is why the old man hit me up at the dump. Let's see how many ads this fool put on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20. 20 ads all on the same day. That's why the old man was mad, bro. Mad. He was mad, bro. Mad. He's a mad old man, bro. Oh, well. What up, guys? It is about 11 p.m. I got home from work, spending some time with my little girl. I'm going to post a couple ads on Craigslist, and then when I wake up, I'm going to post another ad. Then I'm going to post them on Facebook, or bump my post on Facebook. And then I got one load tomorrow. I gotta go dump my trailer, then go load, dump it, see if I get another one. Stay busy, guys. See you in the morning. Mama, you ready to haul some junk? Yeah? You ready? Go get some dirty mattresses, some couches. Yeah? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Mama. Yeah, this is my little girl. That's why I go to work every day for my mama. I love you. I love you. Yeah. Woo. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are ready to go. Let's see what's going on right here. Hold on. Oops. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, boy. You guys ready? I'm ready for another day. I'm gonna go dump the trailer real quick, bro. But I gotta feed the beast. The beast is hungry. Alright. See you in a little bit. Ah, oh, bro. Come on, bro. Where the chimichanga at, bro? Get yourself a chimichanga, bro. Uh, we at it again, ladies and gentlemen. We are at the landfill. Uh-huh. I love me the landfill, bro. Hope you guys are staying busy on a Saturday morning. Um, I'm kind of staying busy, bro. You know what I mean? So, let me take you on my journey for today. go to my other pickup I'm gonna see if I can film if not I'll just show you guys a picture of before and after because some people don't like you filming their house you know what I mean it's kind of weird so we'll see what happens right now bro we'll see what happens bro time to make that money yeah boys oh my god this is a garage oh my god and here is the after Ooh, nice this is why you need 4 by 4 guys. See, I got bags of leaves and cardboard. Stop empty. Easy stuff, light stuff, light. Just empty boxes. Empty paper. Alright guys, check it out bro, 8,680 pounds, and I only had 640 pounds on me, I got charged $10.88 bro, $10.88 bro, I charged the customer a hundy, a hundo, I should have charged her more, but I just charged a hundo. I was in the area already, so I was like, oh, that one looks easy. Easy money, bro. Easy money. Now, all I got to do is get 10 of these a day, and we should be good, and you should see me on the on the millionaire list for the United States, you know what I mean? Nah, just kidding. It's not that easy, bro. But, yeah, little by little, guys. Little by little. It'll happen, you know. My biggest paycheck so far was $700 for one job. But I did more cleanup and it was like 
five of my trailers. So yeah, guys, stay tuned. Uh, I'll try to help you out as much as I can. You know, I'm new to this as well. So don't think I'm some badass dude with like all kinds of trailers and shit. Woo, I'm a rookie, bro. 2018, bro. Do it big. Do it bigger. All right, guys, so some of us were just too too quick on judging people, man. Uh, I was just at the store, and, um, you know, they asked me for money, and I was like, I knew one of the guys. He was asking for another guy, and I was like, I don't know, man. Like, it was a bad neighborhood, you know what I mean? But I was like, oh, I kind of hesitated to help because I was like, man. What if they're just like tweaking or something and, or something like that, you know, doing drugs or just drinking alcohol. But it turns out the guy really needed help, you know. I didn't, I, I didn't think of, I just gave him like eight bucks. I was like, here's eight bucks, bro. Hopefully that helps you. And he was all happy. He's like, yeah, man, I have to go to work. I ran out of gas right here. I don't have no money right now. But I'm going to work. I promise I'll pay you back. I was like, just don't worry about it, man. As long as it's going to help you in a positive way, just just handle it, man. You don't have to pay me back. He's like, no, I'll find, I'll find you. I'll find your truck. I'll pay you back. And I was like, all right, man. And then it turns out that his car was out of gas, and they had to push it to the gas pump. So I was like, damn. I was just like... I was already judging them like they're going to do drugs or something, but I feel bad. You know, we've all been there, man. I've been there when I don't have gas and I just hope my truck makes it or my car makes it. That's why I'm doing this business stuff, man. It's like... I'm tired of that, man. I'm tired of the paycheck to paycheck. I'm tired of all that, bro. I hope you get motivated and you want to change your life. Because that's what I'm doing, man. I'm tired of just working, 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 working for someone else. When I could do the damn same thing. And do it for me and my family. So, if that opportunity comes again, I'll do it again, man. Those $8 just took him from a negative, a big negative, he didn't know what to do, to positive. He could go to work now, he's not going to lose his job, you know. If people ask you for help, just hear him out, you know. Just don't turn him away. Just hear him out. Alright? It'll make us all better human beings, and I feel great now. I feel positive. I feel like... I don't care about the $8, bro. I told him, just keep them, bro. But I just like to help people out. And that really changed my mindset on people now. So, you know, if any of you ever need help, just let me know. And I'll see what I can do for you. But I can't do much. I'm not a rich millionaire. But hopefully when I do make it, I can help a lot of people and change a lot of lives. So stay tuned, guys. Till the next episode.